Hey, Cheryl's Adventures here. I'm so excited. I'm gonna check into my room. Have the cosmopolitan. See if anyone's around. Where's my room? Oh, here it is. Okay. All right. I'm at the Cosmopolitan and I'm checking into my room and it's gorgeous. I'm so excited to show you guys. Hey, Steven, how's it going? I just thought it was going. Cosmo. Oh my gosh. So I just took. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. Hey, Warren. Hey, Mr. Tooch. Yep, I'm back. Can you see me? I just, I just had to go back in and change something. Okay, so here, I'll start over. I'm so excited. I'm at the Cosmopolitan in my beautiful room. Okay, here we go. Right to the right, we have the beautiful uh, spa tub and shower enough for a, you know, large army. And the commode with the fancy, like, face uh, in the wallpaper. And then we have double sinks, of course. Here's my room. We have the first large screen television here. And then we have the um, waiting area. No, this is the living area. Mr. Toot, how's it going, baby? Hey, Warren, what's going on? Teresa, how's it going? Wi-Fi is wonky. How's the Wi-Fi now? Steven, is the Wi-Fi okay now? All right, so here's the living room. With some of this artwork isn't that great, I don't know. But there's kind of the artwork over there and uh here's the area for your desk so now this is really cool so it's good now yeah mr toot you're so you're so jelly there's a blizzard in toronto i know i'm sorry it's windy and getting a little chilly in florida yeah it's still still probably pretty nice okay so here are the snacks but if you touch one if you like touch one and even move it like a hair, you get charged. It's really super sensitive. So you don't want to ever touch that if you ever come here. And then this iPad is amazing. So you can get room service. You're, you can turn all the lights on, um, all the lights off. Uh, you just like hold, put that by your bed and you can uh, order room service uh, and do whatever. And room service here is 24 seven. Um, there's the menu. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, here's the menu, and I've, I've had it, it's amazing. Um, then you have, you have a full fridge stock of alcohol. Why not, right? It's probably $20 a beer, uh, I'm sure it is. But then you have a fridge here that's good for, you know, just your stuff. And then you come over here, and here's this massive cozy bed. And this is why I love the Cosmopolitan. Come on out to the beautiful balcony area here and enjoy the beautiful day. It's about 60 degrees and this is my, my room. Oh my God, isn't this crazy? This is crazy. I know. It's amazing. Hey, Floofy. Okay, I just reconnected. Oh, Warren, you, you asked me about the Tinder. Uh, yeah, no, the Tinder guys in Vegas, are, they're not very exciting. It's nothing really exciting to show you guys. They're just kind of regular, so, yeah. Floofy wave queen, yes. Wave. <laughs> Isn't this gorgeous? So at night, you know, you guys can imagine what it's like at night. So right now there's this little boat thing on it, and it's clearing and cleaning all those little uh, spouts. Wow, I must have dumped a ton of money into the Cosmo. Well, I wouldn't say a ton, but enough, yeah. And this is the main casino that I've been gambling at all year. So I haven't really gambled much at all uh, at Caesars or Planet Hollywood or everyone. Um... <laughs> Garbage, don't even say crazy things like this. Actually, I'm on the 23rd floor, so it's pretty high. Uh, the room was ready right away at noon when I got here, which is really awesome. I didn't have to wait. Usually check-ins like at three, you know, so. Hey, Kimberly. 
Yeah, I'm here for the weekend. Yes! It's such a huge change from downtown. It's like night and day, right? I mean, I like the Golden Nugget, but if one more homeless person came out to me in the casino or outside and asked me for money, I was going to lose it. It was pretty bad, this trip. Um, even when I was at Circa, I had a guy come out to me. Um, yeah, so... Garbage, congratulations on your big win last night. That was awesome. Who wins almost $900 on 176 bet, especially in Madison? That was, they owed you for sure. They definitely owed you. That was awesome. So, yeah, so this is, uh, <laughs> no, we don't want to, you know, that's not funny. I shouldn't laugh because, yeah, no, don't, don't talk about that. So. Yeah, so this is, uh, oh, and I'm going to show you. So that's my view. So I'm going to show you in here, too. Um, Arnold, did you see this gorgeous room? Hang, hang on, let me flip, let me flippy flipper soon. Uh, it's kind of funny, Kimberly says. So this is my room. For those of you who that just got here, it's a terrace suite, like, that's what they call it. And then don't touch, don't touch the snacks. Like, don't even touch them, like, if they move an inch because you'll get charged. Don't touch. So I want to show you too. When I was over um, at Circa, last time I was, I played quite a bit at Circa. I was, I was winning at Circa too, and uh, I had a thirty dollar comp and an eighty dollar food voucher. It's pretty crazy. And um, I know this is part of my diet, hey. But I got these are. Upside down cupcakes. This is a churro cupcake and this is an Oreo. Don't they look amazing? Uh, guess how much they were each. I had a, no, I had a $25 comp. They were $9 each. Who pays $9 for a cupcake? But they were free. I know, Warren, the $80 food voucher does not go far. Yeah, I am sleeping alone, of course. I'm in Vegas by myself. I'm, a, I'm always in Vegas by myself. And then I get stood up by subscribers. <laughs> okay, I just lost you again. When I step too far out of the balcony, I lose my um, my Wi-Fi. Isn't that funny? Yeah. So I just thought I'd show you guys um, the day version uh, out here. And then tonight I'm going to gamble a little bit more. I'll go tonight at some point. I don't know what time, but I have a $25 uh, free play. And then I've got another $200 budget for tonight, so we'll see. Um, I'm down a little over 1000 for the trip right now, uh, so I'm really getting close to my, my budget for the trip. I got killed um, last night uh, after my live. I went. Uh, I actually came back to the Cosmo, and I've got, I've got the slaughter on, on video, so I'll probably post that later, but um, yeah. Uh, no floofy. Just one more step. <laughs> well, there's a nice railing here, so you don't have to worry about that. It's just... <laughs> I'm not sure, Garbage. <laughs> you might know the answer to that better than me. <laughs> Since you're bunking with, with SD this weekend for Christmas. Oh my God, you guys are so funny. The live stream last Last night with with you on one half of the screen and SD on the other half, it, it was really fun. But as the night progressed, you could tell how tired SD was getting and like he was just ready to collide. Like he just couldn't function anymore. <laughs> like, he just wanted to go home. It was so funny. As you do, you just get, you know, he gets so tired because he's still battling all of that. So, yeah. No, I'm not giving Roseanne my room number. I don't give anyone my room number. She doesn't live close to um, Vegas either. You wear even out, yeah. Yeah, especially when you're winning like that and you're really excited and you just, you know, and you, you kept winning too. I mean, you were, you cashed out with 1,300? Yeah, I mean, that's from 200 to 1,300 in Madison. <laughs> and then to uh, uh, keep winning, you know. I mean, that's too like, well, what will happen with me? I'll be like up 300 on the blackjack table, leave, and then, you know, go play slots and I'm down 300. It's like, what happened? 
up and down, up and down, up and down. Yeah. So. So these are the lounge chairs you can lounge at. So that's about it, guys. So I just wanted to show you my um, room. I'm so excited. This is my Christmas present to me. So I'll do. I'll be doing most of my gambling next year here too, as well. Um, as long as I can get these comp rooms like this and that, it's worth it. Uh, Caesars, yeah, you know. But you do have to gamble more here to get the comps. So like all your budget has to be in this one, which usually I like to spread the you know budget out like go to the nugget go to uh, the flamingo or planet hollywood planet hollywood is probably my second most casino hotel that i stay at so is everyone getting ready for christmas eve tomorrow what would you rate the room in the finger scale i have no idea what that means <laughs> war is such a try the el cortez um you know what? Thanks, Kimberly. We're throwing out last names? Who's throwing out a last name? Like you left after the live? You left after the live. Well, we actually don't know if you left after the live, do we? We don't. I hope you did. Unless <laughs> you probably would have killed you if you didn't. Thanks, Luffy. No, I'm not getting that. Upside down uh, pineapple cake. No. What was I talking about? I forgot. Oh my god, what was I talking about? Must have been really important. Kimberly's wrapping presents for the kids. Very good, very good. Oh, we're talking about the El Cortez. So I was going to go down there and I wasn't going to like harass, um, you know, all casino action, Victor. I, I, I would have liked to watch him in action. Uh, meltdown um, and just you know go up and say Merry Christmas and then leave hey Benster um, but after seeing last night's it wasn't last night's live it was what the hell day is it is it Friday is it Friday yeah it's Friday um, it was Thursday night so supposedly Victor won a $3,600 jackpot at the black uh, at, at the tables. He hit a royal flush or something, and you know that's that's huge. Um, I didn't see that on the live stream, so I don't know if he was playing live or not. But so Thursday night he brought the largest bankroll to the three card poker table. I believe was three card poker. Yeah, and he brought $9,900, almost 10 grand, and he lost it all. And it's horrifying to watch. And this was probably pretty late. I was in my room at the Nugget, and I was watching just like the end of it, and I mean, uh, it was really scary watching it. So there's no way I would ever want to be around that, because I mean, <sighs> losing $10,000 at a blackjack table is one thing, but uh, the way his reaction is, is like, you almost think that they don't have it to lose. I mean, you've got to know when you're gambling, and, and you're, especially if you're running really bad in, in blackjack. For me, blackjack, either you're hot or cold, there's really no middle ground. My rule is I lose three hands in a row and I get out. That's my rule. I never, ever stay past three hands because it never goes well after that. Um, and if you've been playing, even for a few years, you just know that because that's how blackjack is. Um, I know. He was so stressed out and he lost the 10000 and, you know, the poor dealers that have to put up with this, I, you know. But he, he really lost it Thursday night. Um, and it's pretty scary to watch. Uh, $10,000 is a lot of money, but, you know, they obviously have it, so. So I will stay away, far away. Arnold's going to sing us a song? What is he going to sing? I don't know. So the pool is open here. Um, you only play blackjack drunk when I won't care for it. That's exactly the best way to play blackjack, Kimberly. Absolutely. Um, I remember I was here the last time and they kept bringing me mojitos and I was like, okay, that's enough. Stop bringing me mojitos because we were winning and I didn't want to give it back. So, yeah. So, Warren, you do enjoy watching the meltdown? You do? Why is that? You don't find it sad? <laughs> you like watching the train wreck? 
Well, maybe maybe garbage is going to get drunk. It's Christmas. People drink during Christmas, right? <laughs> well, yeah, but I, I have, you know, I work all summer, though. So. so, Steven, you watch for the meltdowns, too. So you guys just enjoy seeing an addicted gambler go crazy. That's kind of mean. It's kind of funny, though. I know. Oh, you think he's pathetic. Now, that's really interesting. Yeah, Victor Luck. Yeah, it's always a pity party, too. You know, the pity party is always going, blah, blah. I don't get it. But yeah, after seeing Thursday Night's Live, there was no way I'd want to be anywhere near. And and you guys, I don't know if you've been to the El Cortez recently, but the walk to the casino is really sketchy. It's very sketchy. It's, I don't feel safe. Yeah, I'm going to go to the pool and try to hook up. Of course. There's a lot of guys at the pool right now. <laughs> no, the Tinder uh, prospects, I, I don't really even have anything to show you. I looked the other day and there was really nothing exciting to even show you. Yeah, Teresa, it's a, it is sketchy, that area. Yeah, I mean, once you're in the casino, I think you're okay. But it's been a long time since I've actually been in there. But even the area around it is just getting terrible. So, yeah. So, Arnold, are you going to Pato? with um, Kitty tomorrow. So you guys are gonna be live tomorrow. It does? Yeah, I guess they do. Guys like their salads tossed. Okay, well, I don't know. Have to find one that does. All right, the porn's here. <laughs> The porn's here. Oh my gosh. All right. Yep, yeah, Stephen. So, Arnold, are you going to Pato with your $1,300? Be careful. Pato can be. Pato can be Pato. I've lost a ton of money over there over the years. That's why I stopped going. Because I didn't want to, you know, jump off the balcony at one point. <laughs> That's when you know you made it when the porn hits your site. Yeah, no, I don't think so. I think it's just automatic. If anyone's online, uh, live on YouTube, they just start spamming you and stuff. So, yeah. So, what time is it here? It's like 12 o'clock, 12.30. Time is up by you guys, like, ooh. Yeah. Corn box, yeah. Okay, well, thanks so much. I just wanted to show you guys my beautiful room. I'm so excited. This is my favorite place in Vegas. And I wanted to show you the um, beautiful view that I have here. Oh, I'll get up. Uh, during the day, because it is, it looks totally different during the day than at night. So... The Blasio Fountain Show will be coming up every like 15 minutes from, you know, for sure, six or seven o'clock to like 11. So, yeah, it's one o'clock where you are, Warren. Are you guys all off of work? Enjoying your Christmas break? If you're a school teacher, you're off of work, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kimberly wants me to play the Britney Spears slot. I can. It's 120. It's 120 already in Vegas? Oh my gosh. You just have off today and tomorrow. Floofy, it's that early in the morning? Warren, you're way over in Pennsylvania. Wow, it's 420 already? Wow. Wow. That's interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, the Britney Spears game is awful. I've gotten murdered, killed, slaughtered on that. But I could put 20 bucks in. You never know. Yeah, that one never seems to pay at all. Like, even in the bonus. They might not even have the Britney. Oh, no, they do. 
Well, maybe they don't. I didn't even. I didn't even check. I lost three hundred dollars last night in about fifteen minutes playing coin combo here. That was murder. Yikes. Um, so I might go back for revenge tonight with that two hundred dollars. Yeah. Uh, played the plaza? No, I I like to play where I want to stay and get the free rooms. So I would never want to stay. Stay in a hotel room at the plaza? That just doesn't. Nah. Once you stay here, you're kind of you're kind of uh, you're kind of like find your home. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. So I'm gonna let you go. You've had good luck. I've never played roulette. I've never played roulette. I've never played roulette in my life. So you just bet on the numbers and hope it lands. Yes. Is that fun for you? Because that doesn't seem fun for me. Yeah, I could put like a hundred dollars tonight in coin combo and then just donate a hundred and move on. <laughs> oh, my luck's been running so. <laughs> The bed bugs don't matter much. Do you think there's bed bugs here? There's probably bed bugs everywhere, right, in Vegas? Yeah. Okay, I'm signing out, guys. Thanks so much. Uh, I will see you later tonight or tomorrow or whenever. And uh, should I play pinball? I probably should. That game does usually pay out, so that's definitely a possibility. Do you think I should play um, coin combo garbage? Thanks, Kimberly. Coin combo can be really good. I, I like that game, and it's it's, uh, it's made me some money in the past. So I don't know. Okay, okay. Signing off. Bye. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful day.